Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode with the Grim Ripper. This is Jason. I want to welcome everybody. Uh, today is Wednesday, but I will actually be doing my Monday video today, and Tuesday, and Wednesday. So we'll be seeing those in pretty quick succession um, today, and maybe one tomorrow. But at any rate, we'll get all three of them in. We do have one sponsor for one of those videos, and we'll uh, get that taken care of on that particular video. So thanks again for being patient over the past week or so. We're uh, trying to get on schedule all the time. Sometimes it's challenging. Uh, you know, just been doing a lot of my other job lately, which I don't like that it cuts into my time on the channel, but it sure seems to. At any rate, uh, let's get started with our Monday Madness video. I'm, this one's sponsored by me, the Grim Ripper. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also get subscribed and start commenting. I think last time I looked, we were at 290 subscribers. That means we're getting close to that goal of 300. If you'd share this video around, make sure you click that like button so it shows up on people's uh, suggested videos. That would be great. But let's go ahead and dig into this uh, evening's Monday Madness. I found this at my local card shop. This is a Sport Kings Volume 2. It says, look for special memorabilia, autograph, and swatch inserts. Now, I don't know that I've ever opened this, but it would be pretty cool to pull something fun out of here. This is Volume 2 uh, from 2020 is when these came out. So we'll go ahead and tear into this thing. It says there are five packs plus one bonus pack. I don't know if that means six regular packs in here but let's check it out i left my knife in another room but this one seems to open pretty easily there we go <clears throat> all right sport kings volume two let's see what you have to offer for us today so here's our this is our special pack right there and these are our five packs right here they've got these Oh, I see. Sport King's gum. Oh, these aren't like regular grab bags, are they? I've never opened these. So this is their own their own set of cards, and it looks like artists' renditions throughout. We'll open up this bonus pack last. Okay, I don't know that this is something I'll buy again unless I get some kind of cool autograph out of here. I do like all kinds of sports, and I do like artists' drawings of things, but let's see how this is. So that's the front of the card there. The back is pretty plain, just a blurb about the person on the front and a card number. And then it tells you what you know what uh, volume of the set this is from. This is volume two. All right. So we're going to have, first of all, Sarah Hughes. She is known as a figure skater. Leah Pruitt. Let's see, a racer, but what kind of racing? NHRA Mellow Yellow Series Racing. Bill Russell. I, of course, have heard of Bill Russell. NBA great. The Celtics. Ah, this is a, sort of the Gaudi size card right there. Fencing. Eduardo Magnarotti. Roger Staubach. I, of course, know Roger Staubach from NFL fame. There's Ted Simmons, Hall of Famer. Of course, we're not going to have any logos at all on these baseball and football players. And then we have Winks, who is a famous horse. Well, there you go. That's our first pack right there. I'm not sure... Who collects this set? I've never seen it before. All right. Tear into this next one. But, you know, it's always cool to see new, check out something new that you've never opened before, just to see what else is out there. Sometimes you're pleasantly surprised by a new set, something you've not looked at. This one, you know, I think that the, the artwork is okay. The design is, a. Uh, on the back is a little bland, but that's all right. We've got Dennis Potvin, who's a hockey player. Todd Pletcher, what does he do? He's a, what is, he's horse racing. 
Mike Smith, a jockey. There's Bill Russell again, but this is the miniature version. Ah, Daryl Waltrip, famous NASCAR driver and a NASCAR announcer as well. Ray Allen, NBA star, and now John Morrissey. What did John Morrissey do? He Oh, he's a boxer. A boxing and a pioneer, gold rush pioneer, I guess. There you go. That's an old timer. Next pack. I'm using scissors on these because the wrappers don't tear very easily. I'll kind of move through these rather quickly. Let me know if you like these. I This was the only box they had on the shelf. I don't know that it's something that's regularly carried at my local card shop. But if you like these and would like to see more of them, I can sure try to find some. There's Jerry Grote. I think I have his rookie card. I believe it's from 1964 Tops. And I think that's the one I have. Tony Maiola is a soccer player or football, if you're Canadian or European, or anywhere else in the world besides America, the United States. Ted Ligeti, or yeah, I guess that's Ligeti. Looks like a skier, maybe. Yep. Hey, Babe Ruth. If you like to collect anything that uh, is Babe Ruth, you may not have this one in your set. But there's a artist's rendition of the Babe. Card number 52 in the set. And there's Eduardo Magnarotti again. And Randall Cunningham, Hall of Fame quarterback, Philadelphia Eagles right there. If you're an NFL fan, and this, the NFL season is going to be starting in earnest pretty soon. I'm excited to watch the Raiders this year. I'd love to go to a game at their new Vegas stadium, but I just don't have that kind of cash. There we go, Drew Brees. He is a New Orleans Saints quarterback. Chris Froome is a cyclist. Yes, Chris Froome. Vashti Cunningham looks like a high jumper. Walter Alston, famous baseball player. I think I have his card in my 1964 set as well when he was a young man. Maurice Cheeks, the 76ers, right there. Robin Yount, if you're a Yount fan, Steve Rademacher, if you're watching this, there is your Robin Yount. And I can, ooh, I can barely see the logo just barely on that hat and a little bit of the name there. And there's the Ted Simmons again, Hall of Famer. One last regular pack, and then we'll open this bonus pack and see what's in there. This is Mike Richter. Looks like probably a hockey player. Yep, there's Ted, L Ted Ligeti again. We already had him once. Mark Allen. Looks like a runner to me. Yes, indeed. Triathlon. Vashti Cunningham once again. Roger Staubach again. Old Tom Morris, if you're a golf fan, there's an old golfer for you. He went on to win the Open in 61, 62, 64, and 67. Yeah, there you go. And then Daryl Waltrip once again. All right, let's see what this fanciness is right here. This pack contains two exclusive parallel base cards and one Sport Kings bonus card which could be any of the following, an on-card autograph, a Sports Kings or Legends memorabilia card, a Jared Kelly art card, Century Heroes cut signature with Gary Zizel, a 1-1 sketch, other 1-1 sketch card, or a Grand Patch card. All right, here we go, the big reveal. What's going to be in this one? Well, maybe nothing. Urgh. Man, these are some serious packs. Some serious foil they got going on here. Let's just trim it right like this. Oh no, I just cut a Babe Ruth autograph. Just kidding. Here we go. Here is the parallel, and it's going to be Colo Andino. I don't know what he does. And here's the other parallel. Roger Staubach parallel. That's nice. And this is what we have. It is an on-card autograph. Nice! An on-card autograph of 50 of Jerry Grote. That, I'm actually quite excited about that one. 
A Jerry Grote autograph from Sport Kings Volume 2. The front of this card features a hand-signed autograph of Jerry Grote, a member of the very famous 1969 World Champion Mets team. Check that out. Hey, I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. I may have to send this off to get graded so that I can put it next to my graded Jerry Grote rookie card as well. I'm happy about that. Maybe the set itself wasn't great, but but doggone if I didn't get a great autograph out of there. 40 out of 50 of Jerry Grote from the 1969 World Series Mets. The Miracle Mets for us. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed that little rip tonight. It was an interesting one with a great topper to finish things off. Hope all of you have a great night. We'll see everybody for our time travel Tuesday. And thanks again for dropping by. Be sure to hit that like button on your way out, and we'll catch everybody later. So long. <laughs>